What is the difference between copying by value and by reference? How does this relate to objects and primitives? If you are having difficulty answering this question, it's likely that you might struggle in your next interview. Understanding this concept is absolutely crucial. Let's consider the following code. After the first two lines, we have two separate variables with the same value. These variables and values are independent. This means if we modify variable A, as on line 4, variable B remains unaffected. This behavior is consistent for all primitive data types in JavaScript. For objects, however, the behavior is different. And remember, in JavaScript all data types excluding primitives are treated as objects. This includes arrays and functions as well. In this example, after assigning variable A to variable B, a link is formed between them. This is because objects are stored by their memory address. Both A and B point to the same memory location. Therefore, when we modify this object, the changes reflect in both variables. However, it's crucial to understand this behavior is seen only when we alter properties within the object. If we reassign the entire object like so, the earlier link breaks and a new connection is made with the fresh object. Now variables A and B are independent. On a side note, I used const for A and let for B for a reason. We use const when we don't plan to reassign the variable, even though we can modify object properties without reassigning the object itself. We cannot reassign A, however we needed to fully reassign B, so let was appropriate. Comparison by reference Two objects are only equal if they share the same memory reference. However, if we create two distinct objects with identical properties, they'll point to different memory addresses and won't be considered equal. Now let's test your understanding. I have three questions for you. For each one, pause the video and attempt to answer before I reveal the solution. First question. Given this code, what will the console output? Pause the video and think about it. The answer is, the value of A remains A since we didn't change the variable. C will display AC because we added C to its initial value of A. For B, it would be AAC, because we combined A and AC. Second question. Pause the video. The output will be 3, 2, 3, 2 since object 2 shares the same reference as object 1. Changes in object 1 are reflected in object 2. The final question is a bit harder, so don't sweat it if you are mistaken. Here, A retains its value as str when passed to the function, because primitives are passed by value. However, the object was passed by reference, so when we modified its property, the change is seen in the original object, thus the second output is new string. I hope this was insightful. If you'd like more content like this, drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon!